everyone. Hello. My name is Tiffany Almeida. I'm with Pretty and Paper Crafts and I go live every Sunday for Facebook Live and I call it Coffee in a Card. Hopefully you all have your beverage of choice with you and we are going to have a super fun day of crafting together. Um, and we'll talk about giveaways every week. I do a giveaway, two giveaways actually. Um, the first way to um, win is to share my video and I always have product to give away. Um, last week I said if you hit the share button, um, you would be entered to win the puff paint, the new puff paint. So I'm gonna be drawing a winner for that here shortly. And so then the other way to um, enter to win is to go on to my blog post. The link to the blog is in my description of this video. And you will just scroll down to the bottom of the blog post and there's a raffle copter link. You click on that, you answer two questions and you're entered to win my make and takes from my Facebook Live. So last week my make and takes were with the Ride With Me bundle and um, I made those cute little trucks. And so congratulations, Tony Chapman. You won the raffle copter giveaway last week. So yay. So Tony, I'll be reaching out to you to get your address. Um, if you want to message me, that's even easier and better and faster. Um, just message me your address and I will mail you those make and takes. Okay, so giveaway last week was the puff paint. I have that here. So here's my puff paint. I have everybody's name in this cup that hit the share button last week, so thank you to all of those. You guys are awesome. And we will pick a winner right now of who's gonna get this awesome fun paint. Barbara Meehan, Meehan, Meehan. Barbara, congratulations. Thank you for hitting that share button. Message me and I will get this mailed to you, okay? Congratulations, Barbara. I'm gonna stick this in the baggie so I don't lose it and I don't forget. Okay, so this week I have another giveaway, so make sure you hit that share button, share it over to your Facebook page, share it to a popular group that you hang out with, whatever you wanna do, hit that share button, I'll put you in to win. This week I'm giving away a spool of that brand new ribbon pack, Come Together. It's so pretty, it's got this pretty like Sahara sand kind of silk ribbon, and then this, um, uh, Oh, Cajun Craze Baker's Twine. Super, super cute, perfect for fall. So I'm gonna be giving this away to someone who hits that share button this week. So congratulations to all the winners and thank you guys so much. All right, the second thing we've got is, as always, our coffins. I always have a free reward for placing orders with me. So September's reward, the code is here. Place a $50 order and you get the coffins for free from me, a whole package of 12 coffins. So that's always exciting and fun. I love the coffins and you'll have a whole pack of them ready to go for Halloween treats, which is awesome. Um, and then if you place a $30 order using this code this week, you're gonna get all three of my make and takes. Um, and then if you up it to 50 for another $20 order, you'll get the free coffins. On my raffle copter last week, I had you guys vote uh, for the bundle that you'd like to, to see me use this week. And there was an overwhelming vote for the still scenes. So I am obliging you guys. I love the still scenes. It was such a fun um, opportunity to play with them. I'm gonna show you the three projects that I made this week using them. We've got this beautiful, you guys kind of saw a sneak peek of this, the polar bear shaker card. It's just kind of a still scene. I think it's kind of defines it. This beautiful, um, designer series papers that feel feels like frost and I just put that back behind there so it looked like it was see-through through the globe which is super super fun and I love these little polar bears you guys those are in the framelit dies so I'm going to show you those here in a second but this is one of my most favorite um cards for sure and then of course I have to show you guys what um it looks like if you turn it into a Halloween um, card. So it's Halloween time and you can take this cute little cottage and depending on how you color it, you can have a nice little haunted house, right? So I made a little haunted house spooky globe. Um, when I was brainstorming with Janie um, over the set, she's like, oh my gosh, you know, this could be a witch's cauldron. This could be um, a gypsy's, you know, um, seeing um, crystal, you know, the crystal that they look through. This could be, um, you turn it over, it could be a fishbowl. 
This could be a stand for your coffee cup. All kinds of really, really fun ideas. So this set has a lot of um, opportunity to be creative. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys, you could do something a little bit different like that. And then last but not least, I had to do a pretty little ornament and I was inspired by the holiday catalog. The holiday catalog has an ornament in it. Right here on the front cover, there's a little shaker card using that, um, or a little shaker ornament using that snow globe um, dome. I don't have the wreath bundle, which is would have been really, really cute, but I made it work with what I did have. So I'm gonna show you guys how I made that. Now, um, my holiday retreat is coming up, and I wanted to show you guys this earlier, and I forgot. But my holiday, my holiday retreat is coming up, my one-day retreat that I do every um, holiday season at the end of October, and it's right before Halloween, so I am totally taking that opportunity to include a Halloween project for one of my make-and-takes for the retreat. So um, I just finished designing that yesterday, and so I'll show you. It's an absolutely adorable Halloween box and I, or bag. And you guys look, I used one of the globes and he has some little shaker material in there. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? So this is one of the projects, um, if you signed up for my Halloween, Hallow Halloween, for my holiday retreat, you got a little sneak peek there of one of the projects we're gonna do. Now we're gonna move on to this really fun and beautiful scenes card. So this is like a globe. This is that kind of taking that snow globe projects to the next level here. I wanna show you this paper I'm using. This is the Still Scenes paper and this beautiful paper. I This is called Feels Like Frost. And I have all these pieces, but this has one side that's photogenic. So it's not photogenic, but just photographic paper. And they're real photographs of frost and snow this would have been a cool one for the polar bears too. So lots of snowy scenes, snow, ice, really, really pretty purple. And then on the other side is this beautiful silver and white paper. And it's absolutely stunning. There's all kinds of different patterns and beautiful, beautiful paper. So I couldn't choose which side I wanted to use. They were both so beautiful. So I ended up using both and I'll explain to you. So you can see here, I have this border. See, I have this um, outside piece that is that silver side. This one I used a snowflake. This one, uh, like a snowflake pattern. This one is more of like the kind of snowflakes, but they don't aren't actual flakes. Um, and then this is that scene on the other side so I'm gonna be using these this time because it's just so pretty. All right, and then I'm using this um, Seaside Spray, which is that new in color. Oh my gosh, I love that in color. So pretty. So I'm gonna take this piece. This piece measures um, five and three eighths by four and an eighth. I'm just gonna glue that down onto my cardstock because I don't need to do anything with it. Okay. All right, now the next part we have to be a little bit um, strategic about because we're gonna be gluing, um, cutting out and then gluing back the piece that we cut out. Now I've already gone ahead and cut out some of the pieces. So this is that piece, remember I told you in the framelits, the um, delicate or the detailed um, stand. So here's that detailed stand, this is the silver, foil paper and I just cut out one of those stands. So it looks like this. I'm just poking out all the little extras that I missed earlier. You know those little pieces that, those stubborn pieces that don't wanna come out. Okay, so there's that piece. And then on the background, the background border, I just cut out a piece of Seaside Spray. So I went ahead and did that already for us. So we have that. All right, so we're gonna need our little snow globe cut out again. And I've already done the little polar bears. Look how cute they are. This is in that, um, oh, what's it called? I always forget. It's glimmer paper, but I, sparkle, sparkle glimmer paper. That's what it's called. And so there's these two polar bears, so I cut those out already. So what we only have to do is cut out the dome 
and we're going to cut out the dome on our beautiful paper here just in the center of the scene like I want a little bit of snow on the bottom um, so that I can have the bears kind of standing in the snow so very very cute I'm gonna move this out of the way bring the big shot back in and we're gonna cut out that dome that's the first step in the whole dome process then I'll actually show you the domes it reflects the light really well this piece measures um, three and three quarters by five and or by five three and three quarters by five so we'll just cut that out and we need those two pieces. Okay. Now we have our scene here. Oh, Mackenzie, I know I totally get it, girl. Don't even worry about it. I just don't have time to be cutting out the middle for something else. I just got to go. Um, no, but you're right. It's like, oh, I'm wasting all this piece. You could leave the dome. You could leave it like this and it would just be sparkled through, which kind of cool looking. But we're going to go ahead and do with my original design here. And so we want this piece to be in the center right back where it belongs. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to put glue on this piece only. And we're going to glue it down. Don't you just hate when you love both sides of the paper and you have to make a choice between one or the other? <laughs> hate when I have to make choices. So I'm gonna glue this down in the center without gluing this outside piece because we still need to put our dome there in the center. Okay, so we're just gluing that inside piece because now we, we have a guide of where everything needs to go. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue our little bears down and I didn't put them down on dimensionals the first time because I was afraid of what the shaker material was going to do. But I'm going to do that because I feel like they need to pop out a little bit. They need to, need to draw attention. So we're going to put them on dimensionals. And I feel like I didn't use enough shaker material. So I'm going to rectify that as well. You know, when you make things more than once, you can always say, oh, I'm going to do this a little bit different this time. So we've got my two little polar bears. They're so sweet. Look at them. You got to have them up high enough so that the dome has an area around it. Okay. All right. So let's talk about these domes. Have you guys seen these domes yet? Okay. Check this out. These domes are so cool. Look at that. They come in a pack of 10. And I'm already like halfway through. <laughs> I love them. All right, so here's our dome. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off just the top. There's two sides, two peel away sides. I'm gonna peel off the top side first because I'm going to glue that the inside or the top piece of the dome to the inside of my paper. So I just line up my paper and just slide it over the opening and just glue that down. Okay, like so. So now it's on the inside. So here's the inside of the piece. And when we're ready to put it over the top, we'll take this off and we'll glue it down. Now I'm going to put some liquid glue around the outside because we need to glue down the outside as well when we do this. Okay and peel off the back side there. So now it's ready to go. But before we do that, we have to put the sequins that we're gonna use in the center of the um, piece. So I use these brand new snowflake sequins, which are so pretty. They've got snowflake stars, sequins. Um, they're just really, really cool. I'm gonna put a handful in the center here but I feel like it's just not enough. So I'm gonna actually use some glitter as well. So glitter is the stuff, this ice stampin' glitter, which is really, really cool. It's brand new in the holiday catalog, but it gets everywhere, so beware. Be super careful with it, it will get everywhere. All right, so I think that's enough filler. Now we are ready to glue this down over our, and I have to bring this so I can see over it, over our dome. 
And wherever we stick it down, the forever will it stick. <laughs> it's never gonna come back up. All right, so there's our beautiful snowy polar bear scene. How cool is that? Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? And then I'm gonna take and I, and so thank you for that suggestion of rubbing the emboss, um, embossing buddy inside the dome so it doesn't stick or have as much static, but I like it sticking because then when I hold it up, some of the flakes are still stuck in the um, air and in the globe. So it looks like it's snowing. It's really pretty. Okay, so we're gonna just put some liquid glue. Just dab, be, you're gonna have to dab, be really gentle with the squeezing, um, or you can use the fine tip glue pen, whatever you prefer, but just be really gentle with the glue. You don't need a lot to glue this down. So I'm just gonna take that pretty decorative piece and glue it over. Super easy, right, Debbie? And this, um, uh, what is it? This bundle makes it even easier to do shaker cards, right? Now I have heard that it is kind of expensive to ship cards like these because the the dome, it's like $3.50 to ship these cards. So, you know, some, some people are worth $3.50 to ship. <laughs> All right. Now the other thing I did, if you want to add a little bit more bling, is you can glue snowflakes um, from the sequins um, onto your into your sky, so you can just put a few dabs of, ooh, not that big of glue. A few dabs of glue in your sky. And then you can take your, take your pick tool, pick up some snowflakes, and glue those down. Oops, stuck to my hand. Whoa, I'm back. and just glue some sequins there in the sky, which is super cool. And then last but not least, we're gonna do this pretty little tag. Now, the reason my tag is right here covering up the dome is because I made a boo-boo on my first card, but I kinda like it, so I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna use that Stamp Seasons Greetings, which is in the Still Scenes um, bundle. I'm just gonna put that on a block. And then stamp your sentiment, just like that. And I used Seaside Spray that matches my cardstock. Okay, so there is our greeting. Now I'm going to use my triple banner punch to punch um, this out. And I always use I always do use my punches upside down so one I can see what it's cutting. Two, I want to see where the words are. I don't want to cut off the words. So I'll put it in all the way, punch, put it in all the way, punch, until I see the words. Then I know I'm too far. So if I want just a little bit more off, I'll go right about there. See how easy the triple banner punch is to use? I love this thing. Of, of all the punches, it's probably the punch I use the most is my triple banner punch. All right, so now I'm going to make my banner curly. So I'm going to curl it in different directions to kind of make it like it's flowing. So curl up, curl down, curl up. So I have this little mountain in the middle. And then I'm gonna put some adhesive on the two ends here. And glue that down across the bottom here. I never thought to use a dryer sheet to um, remove the static either. Wow, smart. And then you can do, there's another sentiment in this scene. So it says, may the timeless message of Christmas fill your heart and home with joy today and always. You can put that inside. Or you could put this sentiment inside and just leave it with the, with the polar bear scene. So there's lots of different options that you can do. But I thought this was just a beautiful card, you guys. Absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, a really fun, fun card. Hopefully you guys like that one. My husband said that was his favorite. These domes are amazing. 
amazing. I'm so in love with them. They are beautiful. You can use them for all kinds of fun things, whether it be a scene, whether it be an ornament, whether it be a spooky globe. Remember, you could do all kinds of fun um, projects with these. Now, remember, if you missed the replay, you can always go back through and watch it. You also can go to my YouTube channel, Pretty in Paper Crafts with Tiffany. Um, I have a YouTube channel. I upload my projects every week as well. So if you're not subscribed to that, make sure you go and subscribe. Um, make sure you, if you want these make and takes, you have two ways to do it. You can place a $30 order on my online store and I will ship these to you. I have a code here. If you up that $30 order to a $50 order, you'll get my coffin as a free gift as well. Or you can go to my raffle copter on my blog post. The link is in the description of this video and you can answer the two questions and be entered to win these projects to, um, for me to mail them to you. Okay, so thank you guys so much. Have a fabulous week, and I can't wait to craft with you guys again next week. See you later.